If you're watching this video, chances are you are fully aware of the upcoming release of Kerbal Space Program 2, planned for some time in the spring of 2020. You have likely seen the stunning teaser trailer and likely know some of the planned features including base building, extra star systems, and multiplayer. But I don't want to talk about what's promised, and I don't want to talk about what's best. I want to talk about what I want. So this is Mike Aben with a completely selfish, absolutely personal, 100% my own opinion, top 5 plus of what I want to see in Kerbal Space Program 2. <laughs> Personalize the Kerbals. I've heard Kerbals compared to Pikmin, ready to be sacrificed for any objective, but I don't think that's the way most of us see them. It's very common for KSP players to go through great efforts to rescue a stranded and remote Kerbal in order to bring him or her safely home. You don't do that for Pikmin. The teaser leaves the impression of distinct appearances for each Kerbal, and I would like to see this, but of course, it could be just cinematic license. Why not give us the ability to personalize their appearance even more? Beyond appearance, I want to see Kerbal specialized even further than the three base classes we already have, and have a ranking system that gives us more diversity in their skill sets. Give us a reason to invest in and take care of our crew. This is on a related note. Give Kerbals more to do. In KSP-1, Kerbals have to EVA to collect science, and set up science equipment if you have the Breaking Ground DLC, and maybe do the odd repair, but really, it's not too often they have to go outside. Expand on this. More science setup, more repair work. How about requiring Kerbal EVAs for construction, both in space and on the surface? Maybe expand what they can do inside, working controls and equipment from the interiors of ships, stations, and bases. We love playing these little guys. Just give us more reasons to do so. We're getting serious now. Improve the way the game looks and runs. As much as I love this game, I'll be the first to admit that when you pit it up against its competition, on a purely aesthetic level, it doesn't quite measure up. The game needs to look better. The parts and the kerbals, but also the terrains and the effects. No one is suggesting it should look like the teaser, and I know a real-world physics engine takes up valuable processing time, but it needs to be a healthy step up from what we have now. At the same time, it needs to run better. KSP is notorious for frame rate issues once up to moderate part counts, even when running on decent hardware. To this point, Star Theory creative director Nate Simpson has said repeatedly in interviews that the game is being rebuilt from the bottom up and has promised significant performance increases. Pre-alpha gameplay clips look promising. Here's hoping. Though the basic game mechanic of building and flying should remain untouched, the supporting mechanics like science collecting, building upgrades, Kerbal leveling, administrative strategies, does anyone really use these? Are clunky, feel tacked on, and need to be revamped. Many players completely avoid career mode because of this. Make these mechanics, and any others you may add, feel more integrated into the rest of the experience of the game. They should make internal sense and feel like a natural part of the game world, not something that is artificially holding you back because, you know, leveling and tech trees are a thing. Keep the science and engineering real. Well, real-ish. One of the most amazing things about KSP is how, in the midst of little green people meeting fiery deaths, players actually learn real and complex things about rocket design, aeronautics, and orbital mechanics. This is quite remarkable considering how the vast majority of space franchises pretty much ignore how space travel actually has to work. Yet with all the real physics that's there and contributing to what makes the game fun, squads seem to know when to hold back. The game stops short of being a true sim for all the right reasons. That doesn't mean don't add to what's already there. For example, I would like to see rocket engine designs more reflect real-world considerations, but not at the expense of fun. For the most part, Squad got this delicate balance right. Hopefully Star Theory can too. Yes, I had to go here for one more very important thing we all want to see. As Scott Manley said, <laughs> In the nicest possible way, don't screw this up. KSP does feel like lightning in a bottle. 
what could have been a fairly dry Newtonian mechanics rocket sim somehow became a delight because of the inclusion of a few screaming green people at the bottom right of the screen. And, well, explosions. Again, in interviews, Nate Simpson seems to get this when he repeatedly talks about KSP's learning through failure model. This is a game where failing is fun, but the eventual success is just oh so satisfying. The balance is a tough one. I have little doubt the devs are aware of this, but it remains to be seen if they can catch lightning again. For now, I remain cautiously optimistic. The KSP experience expanded while improving under the hood performance and at the same time maintaining the joys and wonders of the original seems almost too good to hope for, but only almost. So that's my list. What do you think? What are your absolute must-haves in KSP2? Let me know in the comments, but in the meantime, as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.